okay, so we're gonna try the same drive that I did yesterday. Um, we're gonna try it again today. I have recalibrated my cameras, um, reset the car. So we will see if it's any better. Um, I wanted to say a couple things about the video yesterday. Um, I got a, a lot of kind of nasty um, comments, some nasty, uh, about the fact that I disengaged so much. And I, I want to explain my reasoning with that. Um, you know, when you first get beta, when new users get it, um, their inclination is to let the car do what it's going to do and see what will happen. And you do that for a while, and then when it's making the same mistakes over and over again, um, you learn to go ahead and do the disengagement. And what the, what the beta team tells us is that they want the disengagements. Um, that is how the car learns. That is how, or the, the neural net learns. That's how they get the data that they need. Now see, my car was gonna go there. There's a car coming, so I disengaged. I wasn't gonna see what the car was gonna do because to the oncoming traffic, it looked like I was gonna go. I think I was gonna go. Um, you know, and that's a lot of what was happening yesterday is that my car, to me, felt like it was going to go when it was not appropriate. And even if it would have stopped itself, if it looks like I'm going to lurch into oncoming traffic to, to the other guy, then the car is not behaving properly. Just now, the car wanted to go around the traffic. I disengaged it. It shouldn't do that. You know, so when I disengage, I do it because the car is not acting appropriately. And that is what the beta team wants. Now, there are other times when I will let the car do what it's gonna do to see what will happen. Um, I need to feel safe. I have a lot of really tight blind lefts here that, um, you know, really do require me to put a lot of trust in the car. And, and I do that. Um, but a lot of times when I disengage, it's because the car was going out into the intersection and there was another car coming. Now, I don't know if that always comes across on the camera, but, um, but that's, that's when I stop. And, um, you know, one of the things that, that previous versions of beta have, have done, and this, this version has done it too, actually, I just haven't caught it on camera yet is when it's uh, attempting the, you know, peeking or creeping, uh, it will creep itself out into the middle of the intersection and then stop. And so when my car is trying to do a blind left like that, I have to be sure that, that the car, if that's what the car is gonna do, that there is no traffic coming. So that's why I disengage as much as I do. Um, you know, it's not that I want the car to drive like me. Um, it's not that I, I don't know why the car, see, now it says changing lanes to get away from cones. There are no cones. See, the car is like doing funny things like this. So I disengage there because I need to be in this lane. But <clears throat> anyway, um, you know, if the car is not behaving appropriately, whether it be that it's freaking out oncoming traffic or it's going too slow. Um, you know, a lot. Of, one of the things that it's doing uh, with the last couple versions is it's going well below my set speed for no apparent reason. And a lot of the other beta testers are noticing this too. In my situation, a lot of times I'm in traffic like this and it's not like as big of a, or you don't notice it, I guess, as much, maybe on camera. But other beta testers on like wide open straight roads, no traffic, no, um, you know, no pedestrians, no nothing. Um, the car, instead of going, say, the 30 that they have it programmed, it's only going 22. And, you know, that's not, that's not appropriate. All right, let's see what my car does here. Oh, was, oh sorry. I thought I was looking ahead, but it was, it was stopping for the pedestrian. That was my fault. But anyways, I was looking at this police uh, car. Anyways, uh, so 
I'm sorry if a lot of you didn't like the fact that there were a lot of disengagements yesterday. Um, I have been driving my car in this town on Beta since last October. Um, I am very comfortable with Beta. Um, obviously, each new version is going to have its new little quirks, but um, I'm very comfortable with Beta. I trust it to, you know, a certain degree. I, I am always alert as I should be, um, but I'm not going to let the car be a jerk to other drivers because that is not appropriate. Um, and, and I'm not going to let it, you know, cause gridlock or go too slow or screw over the guys behind me because I'm like, you know, 20 feet behind the lead car. I'm just not going to do that. So, you know, in my opinion, the way to train the car is to correct it when it's not, um, uh, behaving correctly. It's moving for those pedestrians. And so that's what I'm going to do. And you know, some drives that I have are wonderful. Some, see it's stopping here for no reason. I've got cars behind me, so I pushed it. Um, there are other drives that I have had, and, and you can see on YouTube where, the, where whatever version we were on at the time was fantastic, and I had a great drive. Um, you know, when I don't have a great drive, I'm gonna show those too, and I'm gonna be honest about it. So, um, you know, they're not all great. And, and especially where I live, um, you know, so my car should not be on this side of the road. So I moved. Um, you know, it's pretty challenging here in Newport and I am happy that I get to test here because it's showing um, a lot different conditions than say the California drivers. Um, you know, I rode with Omar um, in his car in San Francisco, and it was night and day uh, how great his car was compared to mine. Um, you know, slightly different conditions, but they were still quite challenging. I mean, I don't have the hills that he has. I don't have, you know, a stop sign that's got my car pointed up so that I can't even see, you know, over the hood. You know, so it's it's um challenging there too but it's just they are you know elon said that it's overfit there so um you know it's just better and here it is not as good so i am likely to have drives that aren't that great so sorry enough about that um so far this drive has been a lot better than yesterday's um, I have had to intervene as you've seen a couple times for minor things. Um, you know, it has been wanting to get into the wrong lane quite often. Um, that's one of the things that other, um, beta testers are reporting. Okay. We're going to go up Baptist today. This is a tight one. Let's see. A little hesitant but it did that pretty well. I feel like it has more room on the other side to get away from the cars, but, but it was, it was, uh, it was fine. Okay, so now we've got a blind left here, big church on the corner. I have to creep up a lot more to see. There's a car coming. And I had to stop. I mean, if my car was going to peek out there, it wasn't doing it in a way that made the oncoming traffic feel comfortable with what I was doing. Now that was a super slow turn. Um, there was another car coming, but I had room. Um, but I'm sure that that did not look like a normal turn to the outside person. Um, but yeah, so that intervention that I just had, I mean, that car was clearly rendered. Um, it was around the building. There was, it was, no, there was actually no reason for it to, um, go there, but it did. And that was the kind of thing that I was seeing a lot yesterday, actually. Um, it wanting to go, uh, with the diagonal traffic, um, you know, I don't. 
want to find out if my car is going to stop or not. I don't think that that's the point of beta. The point of beta is to stop it from doing that, especially since to the other guy it looked like I was going to hit him. So. There was a version, I don't remember which one. No, I should not be going around this guy. Um, there was another version that I was on where the creeping behavior was really good. Um, maybe it was one of the eights. Um, I didn't do a lot of creeping with the last version. I didn't drive in town very much. Um, summer here, the traffic is, is such a nightmare that, uh, driving on beta is kind of pointless. Um, because I'm, I'm like going five miles an hour or at a, at a dead stop the whole time so there's not really a whole lot to show on video so I just pushed it there because my car didn't go there were several car lengths in front of me I have a, gr a, a green light here and you know my delay is going to cause cars to not be able to go through the intersection um, you know that's just I don't know what it's doing here that that's just you know being a courteous driver. Now see, my car is acting silly here. I think because of that pedestrian maybe. Um, but I didn't correct it. I wanted to see what it would do, but it, it was looking pretty silly. But yeah, instances like that where, you know, my car should go. That's what it's supposed to do, and it's not going. So... Uh, the input that I give the gas pedal or the accelerator is sending, um, you know, data to the team. That counts as an intervention because I had to uh, step on the accelerator. I am letting, letting it see what it'll do here, but this is taking too long. Like, it should have gone the time before. So... I pressed it. It was waiting to see what those ladies were going to do, even when they were not in the crosswalk at all. Which is good, I guess. Um, that's like a, that's a tricky one because if they're not, if, if they're not, that, knowing the intention of somebody on a sidewalk is something that's going to be an interesting problem for AI to figure out. Um, you know, it's one thing if, if they have, you know, um, the light and, and, and they're crossing with the, with the signal, but when it's just, you know, somebody stand, they can, might just be standing on the sidewalk and not intending to cross. So that'll be an interesting one for them to figure out. All right. We're going to try to go around Washington square again. jerky but got it it's going a little fast here very jerky there's nobody behind me today so I'm letting it do it that was actually decent so this is one where it thinks it needs to creep forward but a it's not creeping forward I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a nudge and B, it doesn't need to because it's it's got a wide open view here, but it just, I pushed it through that whole thing. It just, that intersection, for some reason, it has had a problem with from day one. And that's part of the reason why I, I intervened there. I don't know why it stopped at that crosswalk and now it's stopping here. It's just stopping in the middle of the road. See, I'm letting it do it. Like you guys, like, some of you were like, let it do it, but I shouldn't be stopping in the middle of the road. I mean, so 
I'm not going to let it do that. That particular intersection has been a problem for my car from the beginning. And so, you know, the, part of the reason why I push it there is uh, hopefully so it'll learn something eventually. So this one yesterday, my car did not recognize the diagonal cross traffic. Um, I've got cars here, so let's see if it pays attention to them today. Nope. I mean, the car was clearly rendered. So, and my car was going to go. So I don't really understand uh, why that diagonal traffic is causing a problem, but it is. pushing it this whole way. It just doesn't like that intersection at all. It, it, it doesn't do well at that. Again, had to intervene. Um, it doesn't do well in that intersection if there's any kind of extra stuff going on. It does okay if there is no traffic and there's no pedestrians, but if there's any extra input for it, it doesn't like it. said yesterday this turns into a two-way that was a one way we were just on now it's a two-way in this little section and the other day it did not recognize that it was a two-way and it was trying to drive down the wrong side of the road there was no traffic and that might have been why yesterday I had traffic and oncoming and it got into the correct lane today it did not have traffic and it still got into the correct lane I don't know what you guys think I should do different, but I am not going to let my car turn into traffic. So, overall, um, it wasn't much better. It made slightly fewer mistakes, maybe. But, um, you know, it's still having the issue with the diagonal uh, oncoming traffic. Um, the creeping is uh, still a little bit off, needs to be tweaked. It was going to go despite the fact that there was um, a clearly rendered cross traffic. It's peaking here. It can go. There's no cars coming, but it was it was doing that rather well. Though that was a right, and I feel like it does better on rights than lefts. And this is where I navigate it to. 